I'm very pleased to announce uh, or introduce the Wikimedia Foundation Research Award of the Year, or the uh, WMF Ray. It's a little backronym, uh, um, and uh, and I'm doing this on behalf of, uh, I mean, my uh, self and Lila, who are the sort of committee that helped uh, decide this. This is the third time, I think that's right, uh, that we've done this, um, done this award. Um, we've been able to. It's been it's been an honor to be able to come back to to Wiki Workshop and present this um, uh, now. Kind of every it seems like it's it's a it's a, it's an every year sort of thing. So all right, let's go to the next slide. The um, the WMFA Ray Award is an award which uh, is given to recognize and celebrate some recent research work that has been published within the last year that has the sort of uh, potential to really have a significant impact on Wikimedia projects and research, and it's given to to, to research that is that are, that are using Wikimedia data to understand um, and improve Wikimedia projects or the broader web ecosystem, and which answer sort of critical open questions uh, that face the Wikimedia commu uh, community. Uh, the committee uh, are, is myself and Layla, who I you've um, you all heard from a little bit already. Um, um, and the sort of the papers are eligible um, uh, to the extent that they sort of are on or about or use data from uh, or importance to Wikimedia projects. They have to be published in the previous calendar year. Um, uh, and they have to have a copy which is available um, uh, in English. And then, of course, they uh, they can't be something which is written by one of our collaborators. Uh, um, uh, um, you know, so they have to be written by someone else, which is too bad. So our collaborators do some great work, including some of the number of people that are here listening. Um, uh, this year we had uh, we had uh, you know, close to 200 different um, publications, which we considered. There's a lot of Wikimedia scholarship, including a lot that you've uh, seen today, perhaps future candidates for the award. Uh, um, uh, we had a public call for nominations and a number of people submitted things, um, uh, submitted suggestions to us. Uh, we also went through all of the research that was uh, uh, sort of tweeted over the last year uh, by the Wiki Research um, Twitter handle, which you should definitely be following if you are not. And then just to make sure we didn't miss anything, we do a, a pretty extensive uh, Google Scholar search where we sort of, uh, after having gone through all these things, to make sure that we haven't missed anything. All right, uh, uh, let's go to the next slide. Um, there is a physical award and a certificate. Um, uh, probably a bunch of you know that Wikipedians uh, Wikimedians give each other these virtual awards called barn stars, which are little pictures, which are made to look like physical things, which are little decorations that you attach to barns. Um, and uh, because they are also physical things, um, you can acquire a physical barn star. And we have, in fact, uh, we are in the business of doing this. Uh, we will be sending uh, uh, physical barn stars to each of the winning uh, paper research groups there very heavy so if we can send it flat rate this is like a good use of that particular trick um we'll be in contact about that um uh so i think that uh if you uh if you failed to get a physical award in the uh past year i know that we've had we had some trouble actually getting these out let us know um but i think everyone will be getting that um uh and then uh i think that that's sort of the introduction of the award um so uh, the awards are gonna be introduced um, as you perhaps saw on the introductory slide by uh, Jimmy Wales. Um, and the process is going to be that Jimmy's gonna introduce each of these awards and he's gonna sort of um, uh, summarize the paper and sort of reveal the winner um, uh, and talk about why it was sort of important. Um, and then we're gonna invite everybody to uh, sort of unmute and clap. I will come and do that. Um, and, uh, and then we'll invite the authors to, um, you know, share any responses they have and talk for a couple minutes. Um, and with that, uh, I'm ready to turn it over to, to Jimmy. Great, um, well, thanks for having me. Um, I apologize, I'm actually in an airport, um, which still feels very strange post pandemic uh, to be in an airport. Um, so if they start making announcements or something, we might have a little awkwardness for a moment, uh, but here we go. Um, so for the, uh, for the first uh, WMF Ray best paper, uh, one of the most discussed challenges faced by the Wikimedia movement is the fact that there's systemic bias, both in what is covered in Wikimedia projects and in how it's covered. These are typically described as content gaps. Among the most discussed content gaps is related to gender, especially as it relates to biographical articles in Wikipedia. Over the past decade, researchers have attempted to answer such questions as how the number of biographies of women compared to men on Wikipedia, how biographies that exist differently systematically based on the gender of the subject. Uh, 
whether the differences between the number of biographies is a result of systemic bias in Wikipedia, and what the barriers for inclusion of content about women and non-binary groups in Wikipedia are. One of the most important steps of conducting research on these types of questions is choosing a set of Wikipedia articles to compare. As you may imagine, the choice of an article matters, and sometimes that choice can result in different and even contradictory findings. The authors of the paper on this slide have created an important new approach to this problem. In particular, they've developed a novel methodology for studying bias in Wikipedia biographies. Given a target corpus of biographies, the method uses the Wikipedia category system to construct a comparison corpus that matches the target in as many attributes as possible. The work also describes an approach for evaluation of bias in a general way. And the work demonstrates this method by showing disparities in biographies in various ways that have been difficult or impossible to do at scale in the past. This includes um, in terms of gender beyond CIS women, in terms of race, in terms of intersectional identities. In doing so, the authors revisited some of the findings in the gender content gap literature and affirmed or challenged previous findings. For all these reasons, we award this year's first WMF Ray 2023 Best Paper Award to Controlled Analyses of Social Biases in Wikipedia Bios. Yay. All right. Well, everyone, I'm going to invite everyone to unmute and give a round of applause for the authors. Very good. Very good. All right. So now's the opportunity. I mean, if the, do you want to give the, if the, we have, we have at least one of the authors here, I believe, right? Yes. So Anjali. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just say thank you so much for this honor. Um, we're, we're so excited about this. Uh, I think when we started on this project, it was, um, we thought it was going to be kind of a footnote in a different paper. And then it turned out to be a really hard problem that took multiple years of revisions um, until we got to this paper. So um, we're so excited to kind of see where this work has gone. Um, one of the things that uh, Tan and Kevin and Julie and I talked a lot about while working on this project is how exciting it is to be able to work with Wikipedia data and how this is a community where there's such potential to have kind of real impact and really see research translated into practice um, because there's this amazing community of both researchers and contributors and because the platform is kind of so conducive to be able to do research. So um, we're really excited that our work can hopefully contribute to this community. So thank you so much. Okay, so shall I move on to the next one, Mako? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I think we wanted to take a, sorry to interrupt. I think we wanted to take a group shot. Oh, we'll of, take a group shot. Yes, let's take a group photo. Okay. okay. All right, everybody. I think this is this is what this this is what qualifies as a group photo. Put it back on the slide. Okay. <laughs> Who's doing the photo? Are you doing it, Layla? Hold on. I can do this. Okay. All right. Let us know when you have it. Okay. One, two, three. Got it. Great. great. Okay, now we're ready to move on. <laughs> okay, great. congratulations. Great. Okay, so now for the uh, the second WMF Ray Best Paper Award. Uh, while characterizing content gaps is a critical piece of any attempt to close them, it's only the first step. And indeed, members of the Wikimedia community have been working hard to close content gaps for many years. In the English Wikimedia community, two of the most common attempts to close the gender gap for content are the Art and Feminism Project and the 500 Women Scientists Project. Between the two of them, these projects have contributed to thousands of Wikipedia biographies of women, particularly through edit-a-thons. Our second winner provides a thorough scientific evaluation of these two attempts to address the content divide for gender. In particular, it collects data on thousands of biographies of women artists, scientists, athletes, and politicians that were worked on by the new projects, carefully constructs a data set of otherwise similar biographies of men, which it uses as a comparison, it evaluates the results of the content improvement efforts by comparing the length, quality, and visibility of the biographies in articles worked on by the two interventions and the comparison set. It also evaluates the interventions in terms of the degree to which the articles are linked from other articles and the amount of material about the subjects that are put into info boxes. The paper finds that these efforts have been quite successful in writing biographies of women that are longer, higher quality, and viewed more than the comparison articles. It also finds that the articles worked on by these projects lag behind the comparison group in several other respects that may limit the visibility of these articles. For example, they are less integrated into intra-Wikipedia link network. In doing so, it provides both scientific evidence on the effectiveness of an important Wikimedia community project focused on gender equity, while also pointing toward ways that those efforts can be improved in the future. For all of these reasons, we award this year's second WMFRA 2022 Best Paper Award to the gender divide in Wikipedia, quantifying and assessing the impact of two feminist interventions. 
All right. And with that, I want to invite the uh, uh, authors to reveal them the, <laughs> their video. And uh, I guess uh, Isabel is here. And then everyone should unmute and give uh, Isabel a round of applause. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. This is, uh, I'm so grateful to receive this uh, and to be recognized. You know, Wikipedia research is some of my favorite research out there. Um, and this is just a wonderful, wonderful recognition of our work and also of the work of um, the, the two movements that we look at here. And I really want to shout out Art and Feminism and 500 Women Scientists for, you know, being being so active in uh, intervening and producing kind of content that has long been missing from Wikipedia um, and providing, you know, the basis of the work um, that we were able to do. Um, and I encourage anyone to kind of get involved and start uh, writing or as we find, uh, start linking, which is really, really underdeveloped amongst a lot of um, women's articles, kind of mm -hmm. keeping them periphery. So um, I hope this work is useful. And I, and I thank you again on behalf of uh, Sandra and my Myself. Congratulations. All right, so let's do the group photo. Done. All right. Uh, there was just like a um, uh, congratulations again uh, to, 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 to all the authors. Um, there was just a, there's just such a, as you all know, after, you know, uh, a, a day like today, there's just so much really fantastic Wikimedia scholarship being produced. And I think that, you know, trying to, trying to, to, to pick a best uh, uh, a, a best paper uh, is is an impossible task perhaps but it's really it's just a it's a pleasure to be able to read all this work and it's and it's a pleasure to be able to recognize some of the really really fantastic stuff so um, that's being produced so great work uh, everybody yeah. and uh, wonderful um, yeah. Cool. And thank you, Jimmy, for making time for it and coming from the airport. Yeah, uh, yeah no, it's good. I enjoy this sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm actually, I'm very excited about this area of work in the Wikimedia movement for gender equity. And what I loved uh, just personally in, in reading through this is just the imminent practicality of it. Uh, so in the first paper, the idea of getting to a more consistent and more theoretically sound way of making comparisons, I think, will be more persuasive to those in the community who say may sometimes look at contradictory results and not be quite sure what to make of it. And then the second, which I, I think will really have an impact on those two interventions, those two groups, seeing the results of our, all of their hard work being validated, which will inspire other people to say, oh, I've got my, my own gender equity issue that I want to work on. And if I make an intervention, it will matter. Uh, so thank you. That's wonderful stuff. All right. I think that. I believe that that is the, that is the award ceremony. I think we're passing it over to uh, back to you, Layla, or to Bob.